Let me kiss him. You gotta look close enough. Okay. I don't know how to start the video. Uh, it's been a while. Shoot. I don't even know how to do YouTube no more. All right. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So we haven't posted in a long time. Not a long time, just a week. Just, we haven't posted in a week, but to us that's a long, to me that's a long time. To me too, like, yeah. Cause like we was posting every day before, we, you know, so, so there. Mm -hmm. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're back with another video. Um, so today we decided we're gonna bring you guys a little story time. So. Since this is a new YouTube channel, we want you guys to know like our origin and stuff like that, you know. We want you guys to, you know, come along this journey with us. So if, to come along the journey with us, you gotta know where we started, you know what I mean? So, today, we are gonna be telling you guys how we met. Mm-hmm. How should we start? Should I tell my side, you tell your side, or like? I think you should start your side because okay. you were first. So, I'm gonna start this story. So, um, let's see. From I'm gonna start the story from what I remember. So first of all, um, let's see. Me and Kenya met in high school. So no, no, no. Okay, we met. Wait. Okay. No, no, no. I saw. I'll show okay, you can start the story. Okay, so um, me and Kevin met in elementary school. Even though I don't remember. He does not remember me, but we were best friends. All I remember, like the last time I seen him, the last time I seen him was when a teacher came in. With, me and his sister were making um, uh, those fortune tellers. And his, his this lady comes in and grabs all three of them and they walk out and they I never see them ever again until I moved to this other town and we went to school to at Lakota. <coughs> I mean we knew of each other but we didn't like talk for real so it was just like a. So Kenya claims that we, why do you we were always best friends say, in second well, grade. No, why do you always claim like think I claim? Like you think I'm Okay, blind? okay, okay, okay. No, no, he okay. Always, I know we went no, to no, the no, same second grade. He always school. says that I claim that we But I don't remember her. Like that's the problem though. Like, okay, she but said I, we were best friends. He didn't even know he went to that school until I pulled no, up. No, I did No 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 he does now, but I pulled up a picture, I was showing him like, yeah, we went me and his brother were in the same class and I was like, Yeah, you went to the school. He's like, What? It's Princeton? I went to Princeton? I was like, yes. All right, all right. Now, we're done with that part of the story. The part of the story is not important. But anyways, so fast forward, I don't know, like 10 or so. No, yeah, like 12 10. years, yeah. maybe. No, like 10. Like 10 years. And uh, we are in seventh grade. And we went to junior high together, seventh and eighth grade. But we just went to the same school, but we didn't really like yeah, know didn't each other. Like... And uh, then... High school, which is where we like actually like met met, like met met. So freshman year, skip, sophomore year, skip that. But then uh, the summer after sophomore year, Kenya started working at McDonald's. the McDonald's across the street from because our high school. Because of another person said, hey, just come work here. And I was like, okay, I'll work. And I was not, I did not want to work at McDonald's. Like there was a stigma, if you worked at McDonald's, like you were like, Always gonna be working at McDonald's, but that, that's how I started working there. Yeah, and then so summer before junior year, she started works. She starts working at McDonald's. Then that's then that junior year, I got my license, and then I started working at McDonald's. So she'd already been working there for a couple months, and then uh, I don't know. That McDonald's was actually like it was like one of the, the one of the best, best work environments ever because yeah. like the people that just worked there were so funny. Like it was and like chill. and chill. Like it was. We were like a little family. <laughs> so yeah, I really like working there. And I guess um, just like us working together, like, okay, first of all, okay, so if you guys don't know how working at McDonald's works, like there's people that do the windows and the people that hand the food out and stuff like that and take the orders on the microphone, little thing like that. That's what Kenya did. And I was one of those people that was in the back, like actually like whooping out in the kitchen, like making <laughs> them sandwiches. So that's what I was doing. And then like, I didn't even acknowledge her for like the first like two, three months that we worked together. And all of a sudden she started being all weird. And she started like, like do like playing little tricks on me when I was working. And then like, like always coming to check up on me or look at me while I was working. And I was like, what does she want? Like, I'll be making the sandwich. And then she would come like out of nowhere and just start staring at me. Like, and I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to make the order. I don't know. It was weird. And I was like, this girl is so like, I, I, okay. To be honest, I thought she was annoying. And yeah, I was like, yeah. So that was like three months of that happening. 
And I remember this one specific story, like one time she was still at work and uh, I was clocking out. So I was going to the back oh of the clock out God. and she stole my phone for some reason. No, I didn't want him to go. I was like, just stay a little longer. And he was like, I have to go. Yeah, and I had to go home and like, it was dark. I had to walk home too. It was when, it was when I was struggling. Like, we no, I thought, you were, I thought Keith and Kimmy came to pick you up. I don't remember. And, I don't, you, and they were outside. Yeah, 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 yeah. My brother and my sister were out there to pick me up and she had taken my phone and I was trying to get it back from her and she was like, she was like, no, I don't want, I don't want you to go. I was like, what does she want from me? Like, I don't even know her <laughs> like that. And, uh, oh and, uh, God. um, so then I was trying to get my phone from her and then she took my phone and she put it in her bra. No, it was just in my shirt. It was in your shirt. Okay. She put the, she put the phone in her shirt and I was like, come on, man. Like, I'm not going to reach in your shirt to, to get the phone out. Like, bro, like, what am I supposed to do? Okay, and then she told that story. I don't know. No, 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 okay, we don't have to tell. Okay, but then, I, but this, this is important, because this is how I got your number. Okay. And then, and then uh, she was like, okay, I'll only give your phone back to you if you let me put my Snapchat in or something like that. And I remember, and then she put her Snapchat in my phone wow. as like, Kenya, heart emoji, eyes emoji, emoji, emoji. <laughs> okay, uh, Kenya and a bunch of emojis. And that's how I got her Snapchat, and then we started Snapchatting, and that's how I got her number. So that's how that—that's how we started communicating. And then you want to go from there? Um. See, this is a story that you would tell because it was mainly you doing all the work. I but okay. Do, I didn't do nothing. Talk about I did the work. She okay, was the one that okay. got us together. Like, okay. She was the one that was chasing me. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. No, but like okay. Anyways, I don't even remember texting him like. I just thought of Kevin as like a friend. I I must have just been annoying because I didn't even like him like that. So that's what she claims. One day he came up to me and asked me to go to the movies with him. And I oh, was wait, no, no, you gotta backtrack. To this, when I asked her to the movies, we had been texting back and forth for probably about two, no, like a month. We've been texting back and forth for like a month, and uh, I was talking to one of our coworkers like, bro, I don't know if I should ask her out because. Y'all don't know this, but there was another dude that was working with us that was about to ask her out. Actually, he His did. name is Josh. He, Josh? No, 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 not that dude. Oh, he No, 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 we're not, we're not supposed to be naming names. This is like for us. This is like, for, we can't be naming names. Anyways, there was a coworker that was working with us that was about to ask her out, and then he did ask her out, but it didn't go well, I don't get so, because they ended up only going on one date. And then... Oh my God, yeah. I and then <laughs> there was another coworker that was gonna ask her out, and then there was another coworker, another, another coworker, that was convincing me to ask her out. I guess I don't know. Like, I was like, bro, like, I don't know if I should ask her out. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not even looking for a girlfriend. And then he was like, bro, this might be like you're, you're the one. You know, what I mean, you don't want to skip over it. Like, you only get one chance. So then that was the day that when I was leaving work, I asked Kenya if she wanted to go to the movies with me, and she said yes. Mm -hmm, and see. that's the end of the story. All right. No. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wait. Let's continue this. Okay. So after I asked Kenya to the movies for the first time. I was I was like a little nervous. I wasn't that nervous. I was like, well, I guess it'll be pretty cool. She's not that. She's not that. She's that. She's a fun person. So I got all dressed up and ready to go to the movies. And then I got to the movies, which was like down the street from my house. <clears throat> and I texted her, and I was like, hey, I'm at the movies. Are you coming? And uh, that that time I had a license, but Kenya didn't have a license yet. What well, did you have a license yet? Mm -hmm. She didn't have a license yet, so someone was gonna drop her off. But. Don't ask why I was I didn't go pick her up. Like I probably should have went. To pick her up. <laughs> I don't know why she she was being dropped off. But anyways, so then she texted me like, wait, did you even text me back? I don't remember. That the, the yeah. Third, the, the, Basically, she stood me up. <laughs> yeah, I so. stood up the first time, but I I don't know why. But then the second time. No, she stood me up twice, by the way. Stood twice, and he yeah. asked me on a date three times. I asked her on a date three times, and it took three times for us to actually go on a date. And like that was like over a two month span. I was like, we might as well try this again. And the second time, she was like downtown or something like that. Yeah, the second time and I was with my mom, and she was like, um, cause I was like, come here, I have to go on a date with Kevin. Um, I don't know if we're gonna make it back, cause we went out to eat at the Eagle. We went to the Eagle downtown in Cincinnati, and we were just getting there, and it was we were supposed to go to movie at <clears throat> what time? Uh, like seven or something like that. No, it was daytime. Six. Oh, it, it, was, it, really it doesn't matter, but like I was downtown, he was in another town, and I was like, how am I supposed to tell him? Like the suburbs. Yeah. Yeah. So we, I guess. Did you stood me up twice. 
And then we finally went on a date the third time. I think that time I picked you up from your house. Yeah, you did. Yeah, so we went. So we went to go see. And I snuck and went on a date with him. Like my parents. Didn't yeah, she was not to be seeing boys. So. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to talk to anyone. But uh, yeah. So, um, what did we go see? Fast and Furious. Yeah, it was Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious, the one where the where uh the dude, what's his name? That was around when he died. Fast and Furious Seven. Yeah, I think that's what it was. And then we went to go see. And then we went to Steak and Shake. After that, and that was our first date. Mm -hmm. um, is there really any, anything else to tell? Let's just see. Um, after that, we just started dating, <clears throat> going out more and more, and then, yeah, we've been together ever since, and that was three and a half years ago. Oh my god. Seems like a long time, but it went by really fast. So, <clears throat> and now. Wait, how so did. Oh, what... we should. Say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, technically, we weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. Uh, before that, but like we were just like hanging out and going on dates and texting, and then I asked her to be, I officially asked her to be my girlfriend on April twenty second, twenty fifteen. He literally like randomly slid it in there. We were talking about something and it was super interesting, and he said, "Uh, will you be my girlfriend?" And then like he added another thing that we were talking about before he asked. I was like, oh, "Wait, you can't." slide that in and is expecting me not to say anything and then like <laughs> you're like oh i'm tired and i'm not talking to you <laughs> like, but of course i'll be your girlfriend and then i went to sleep all happy and, uh, and that's all yeah and that's our story now he's like he can't stay me anymore I, I love her that's the end of our story time with you guys it was short and simple we didn't want to put like a super long video out i don't know we wanted to give you guys something. I hope you guys subscribe and like and comment. So thank you guys for watching.